Hey gang, welcome back to Learning to Survive. Big John, Terry, and Cletus here with you as usual. And in this video, we've got another knife from Dylan. The Zero Tolerance 0055. It looks pretty cool, but how is it going to perform? If you want to know, you know the drill. You're going to have to stick around. Come on, boy. Hey gang, thanks for sticking around. Like I said, in this video, we've got the Zero Tolerance 0055. <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because this is the second time that I have done this video. I made the entire video without having the record button on. <sighs> ah, yes. Yes. The joys of getting older. Incredible. Anyway, a couple of things that I want to go over before I get started. Uh, the last video that I made, uh, Mona M. Angel, um, one of my first subscribers has been with me through through the whole ride thank you so much Mona pointed out that hey is that a new poster behind you my apologies to my buddy Scott and to poster foundry I, I had taken a picture of it I, again speaking of getting old I had taken a picture of it I was gonna put it in the video completely forgot about it. completely so I'm gonna put it in this one Thank you, Mona, for bringing that to my attention. I appreciate you. Um, I went in a little different route this time. Instead of the, you know, vintage war posters, I went with The Rules of Fight Club, one of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, love that movie to death, man. So I went with this one because, you know, when I get, I get the posters from Scott, and then when I'm done with them, I put them in frames and put them on the wall. So I thought, I'm gonna go a little different. So we're gonna, we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna get some different posters. But guys, go, I'll put the link in the description. Go to posterfoundry.com, check them out. They have really cool posters, man. Really cool posters, really great prices. Uh, I know Scott said that they have started doing t-shirts now. I don't know if the t-shirts are on the same website, I didn't notice and I didn't look, I'm gonna have to get with him about that. But they're doing posters, they're doing t-shirts, they're doing all kinds of cool stuff, man. Go check them out. Really cool posters, really cool prices. The other new thing that we have is a new beer. <clears throat> now, like I said, <laughs> since I've done this twice, I've already tasted this beer. And the fact that I'm pouring a second one ought to tell you something. Look how dark that is, man. Ugh. Linda. Linda, Linda. Linda, honey. Uh, you gotta get some of this. This is called Dragon's Milk. It is a bourbon barrel aged stout yeah baby it's made by New Holland Brewing which they don't have not that I could see anything on any of their packaging that tells where they are so I had to look them up on the web you're very welcome um, they are in Holland Michigan 684 Commerce Court to be exact says it's a rich roasty and creamy with a heavy with heavy notes of vanilla 
and just enough familiar warmth from oak barrels reminds us that all of life's events, big or small, are worth celebrating. 11% alcohol, ladies and germs. Oh, and I've already had one. So, this is going to be a fun and exciting video because you should always drink 11% beer and then mess with a knife. So good. So good, guys. If you like, now, this stuff is 14, 15 bucks. 14.99. A four pack. Four pack. Worth every penny. If you like stouts, and you like bourbon, because it does, like that. I mean, it, it, it's there. You can taste it, especially in the finish. It's like, mm, bourbon, mm, in my beer. Mm, the rest. Of it. So good, guys. So good, Linda. You need to go check this out. You need to get it. Dragon's milk. I'm telling you. All right, guys, let's get into the knife. <clears throat> like I said, this is the Zero Tolerance 0055. This is one of the sleekest, craziest looking knives that you're ever gonna see. I mean, look at that. I'm going to show you, you know, I'll, I'll do a close-up picture and I mean, you can zoom in, you know, when I do the specs and everything, but this thing is just ridiculous looking. And one of the things, like, I'm, I'm going to talk about this uh, when I do the specs, but you see that little, this little knot right here, whatever you want to call it, I don't know what you want to call it. That's the flipper. That's it. That little thing. Now, when you pull it up, it, you know. It's a little longer, you probably can't see that, but and then from there you open it up. But it's hidden for uh, a reason. That way it's not it's not snagging on your pants, it's not getting in the way. But it opens up. I mean, watch this. I mean this is ridiculous. Okay. Did you see that? I didn't touch it. I just let go of it. It closes. This thing is so smooth. The ball bearings are so badass that it will close by itself. Let me show you that again. Because <laughs> this freaked me out the first time I did it. Look at that. Look at it. It will close by itself. That's how smooth the ball bearings are on this bad boy. Crazy, crazy good. All right, let's get into uh, description and specs and a little more beer. Oh man. A little bourbon finish, man, is just incredible. You, uh, you gotta try this beer, man. I'm telling you. The, uh, it almost four bucks a beer. I can't be. All right. This is off of the Zero Tolerance website. Uh, the Zero Tolerance 0055 is unlike anything you've ever seen unless you've seen the exciting airborne folder by Gus T. Cechini C-E-C-C-H-I-N-I of GTC Knives. And while the airborne was where we started, the Zero Tolerance slash 
uh, GTC collaboration took off from there. The result is the new 0055, which offers dramatic aerodynamic lines of both blade and handle, and ZTE's meticulous precision build. The dynamic blade is CPM S35VN stainless steel, a formula that provides enhanced toughness and resistance to edge chipping and no loss of wear resistance. It is rich in niobium, vandium, and chromium carbides and ensures the 0055 has a sharp, long-lasting edge. The handles are 3D machine titanium with titanium frame lock and hardened steel lock bar insert. The custom backspacer is anodized aluminum in bright sky blue. And yes, the 0055 features Gus's SLT hidden flipper tab. When a wild knife is closed, the flipper is concealed. When you're ready to open it, pull back on the SLT. A spring flips the tab up into position, then just pull back on the tab and the 0055 opens just like any other ZT, zero columns. Uh, the hidden SLT ensures there's no flipper tab poking up along the spine or beneath the handle to, uh, to interrupt the sleek lines of the 0055. The 0055's blade glides out of the handle on ZT's KVT. Man, could these guys have any more? The ZT KVT GTC HIM Elemental P. Uh, anyway. uh, the blade glides out of the handle on ZT's KVT ball bearing system, ready for use. The action is similar to a two stage rifle trigger and is completely addicting, and it is. To complete, the exemplary knife, we added a left-right reversible bent titanium clip. <coughs> Tech specs, made in the USA, lanyard hole, SLT spring-loaded tab, KVT ball bearing open, opening system, titanium frame lock, hardened steel lock bar insert, reversible titanium clip, left-right tip up, steel is CPM S35VN stone washed finish, and we all know I like a stone wash blade. The handle is titanium bead blasted finish. The blade length is 3.75 inches. The blade thickness is 0.156 inches. The closed length is 5 inches. The overall length is 8.75 inches. And the weight is 5 ounces. So there you go. There's all your specs. And I need a drink. Uh, it's always good to drink two 11% beers and then play around with a knife. Man, that is good. I, I cannot get over it. Pecan Porter. Mm, man, we may have a contender. This is, uh, this may be, this may have become my favorite beer. I shit you not. You would think I work for these guys, but so good, man. So good. Uh, anyway. Um, so it looks cool. Sleek lines. All this chat. And oh, did I mention? Now this is on the Zero Tolerance website. $275. Let me say that again. $275. Now, for a lot of people out there, they're like, so? It's a great knife. <laughs> it's a great knife, but for people like me, it's like, no. I'm not, I don't, first of all, I don't have $275 I can spare, and I'm not paying that for a knife. 200, I mean, I'm sure you can go to BladeHQ, KnifeDepot.com, whatever, you know. Uh, I don't know if they're going to have it any cheaper, but... Now, how does it perform?
up. And I'm gonna act up. There we go. Get shot. Sharp. <clears throat> I'm just not the best paper toaster in the world. Paracord, one time. We're gonna we're gonna check the, the front part right here. Let's see. Like nothing. Double it up. Part this time. Yeah. Triple it up. Wow, I think that's the easiest trip I've ever done. I mean, look at that, man. Look how smooth those cuts are. Bourbon finish. Cardboard. Like nothing. I mean, I'm digging. Look at that. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This thing is not only sharp, it's tough. Great knife, man. This is a great knife. I mean, I wouldn't pay $275 for a knife, but this knife is worth every penny all day long. You've seen the way how smooth it opens and closes. You've seen the way it cuts. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This knife is worth every day. Worth every day. So there you go, guys. <clears throat> Tell me what you think. How, how do you think the knife did? How do you think it looks? Is it worth 275 bucks? I think so. I mean, I may not personally buy it, but it's worth it. But that's that, that knife is just badass. It really is. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you buy one? Dude, how do you think it did? I mean, I don't see how you can say it didn't do well or anything. Uh, it did great. But let me know. How do you? What do you think about the knife? How do you think it did? Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always. I love my troops. I appreciate your service. Thank you. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I really, really do. Guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I post new videos. <clears throat> guys, thanks to all my subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody who's watching this. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Go ahead and do it, man. Pull the trigger. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. You won't regret it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate y'all. And as always, you and me together, we're learning to survive. And until next time, we'll see you.